Reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Higher ground, gospel radio. Reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Higher ground, gospel radio. HGG radio. Join us for the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast, where we discuss matters close to the heart of this and every Saturday at 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan, alongside your co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, Bishop Hopeton Morris, and Elder Edmund Muir. The Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. We're not just talk, we're informative. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast right here on HGG Radio. I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan, and we want to make a very special welcome to you and thank you again for joining us for episode 15, yes, of course, of the Ironman Empowerment uh, Podcast here. Uh, we just want to let you know that here on Ironman Empowerment Podcast, we discuss matters that are close to the heart. Of course, we are live inside your home, inside the car, inside your studio, and of course, we are delighted that you choose to wake up with us this morning. Good morning to all our friends near and far. Of course, alongside me, your host is our co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, Bishop Hopeton Mars, and Elder Edmund Muir. You can listen to HEG Radio live via YouTube, Facebook, hegradio.ca, or by downloading our Higher Ground Gospel Radio app via your Play Store or App Store. You can join the conversation on our social media platform or by down messaging us or sending us a voice note on WhatsApp at 825-343-7778. Again, that option to you is to send us a voice note via WhatsApp or by downloading the app at hggradio.ca. Again, we want to thank you for choosing um, to wake up with us this morning. We have yet another exciting topic that we want to discuss. But we want to remind you that we want you to like, to share, and to subscribe to our channel. Today, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. We notice a lot of persons are tuning in, but you are not subscribing. So please subscribe to our channel and you know, put turn on the notification bell. So once we are live, you are notified. All right. Good morning to you, Pastor. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning, Elder. Come on in, greet us, and welcome our listeners. Good morning. How are you doing? <clears throat> I am doing well. Awesome. Good morning. Elder awesome. Muir, let's hear your voice. Bishop, come on in. Greet us. Greet our listeners. Uh, here. God bless you all. 
Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Good to be here this morning. God bless you. Awesome. Awesome. Elder Muir, good to see you, sir. Good to see you in your new studio, new headset, mic, everything look new. We can't hear Elder Muir. We can't hear Elder Muir. Everything look new, but we can't hear you. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not hearing you. I, I think, Elder Muir, I think you're muted on your side. So you you, you want to check your connection. Still right. nothing coming from you. Yeah. So we'll, so we'll circle back with Elder Muir while he work out his, um, you know, his technical. His stuff is new, so he's still testing them out. <laughs> so he'll be back. He'll be back with us. How are you doing, Bishop? I'm doing very well, man. I'm doing very well. Awesome, Less. awesome. Weather is nice. awesome. Right, I'm good. Yeah. Everything is good. Everything is good. Good morning to you, Pastor Clive. I see you kick off your uh, conference on last night. You you may want to talk to us about that briefly before we get into the program. Oh yes, yeah. We have our uh, uh, our missions conference that is happening. It started last night, and it's of course going on until uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, last night we had a wonderful time in the house of God, and today at ten o'clock uh, we are finishing up. I got to be there for ten. Uh, okay. Prayer meeting, and uh, we have in a. Uh, um, um, study on out, outreach and evangelism on um, today. And of course, we have our little brunch and then home and then we go back to church tonight for 7, 6.30 or 7. So the conference start last night and it goes on till tomorrow night. Is that correct? Or tomorrow, tomorrow in the day? Just tomorrow in the day. Tomorrow yeah. in the daytime. All right. So if you're in Edmonton, go on over to Higher Ground Gospel. All right. There we have it. All right. So mission convention, topic rise, uh, Peter, kill and eat. And of course, this is all happening at the Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministries and located at 3831116 Avenue and Northwest in Edmonton. So those who are in Edmonton, please make your way over. Or of course, you can join us. Um, you can join the meeting. You can stream on tonight on their streaming platform, Higher Ground uh, um, gospel rated this same platform to heg radio is bringing in so you can of course go on over and tune into that thank you so much for that bishop uh, those are who are in delaware delaware i'm coming at you next weekend so i'm in delaware next week um sunday and sunday night so past the fisher only fisher starts it on friday and saturday and then i pick up on sunday and sunday night that's at delaware at emmanuel church of god in christ or no emmanuel apostolic church yeah of jesus christ that's correct that's the name so uh join us over there in delaware on next week also just want to plug that uh, bishop hopeton mars is hosting he's the host pastor for the canada district council spring conference and he's hosting right. montreal so cdc is moving to montreal so all our listeners from the pentecostal assemblies of the world uh cdc canada the canada district council is having their spring conference on the second or to the fourth of may and this is happening in Montreal. So Montreal CDC is coming your way under the theme Manifest. And of course, Bishop Hopton Morris is the host, Bishop Barrington Smith, the diocesan bishop for the Canada District, along with uh, Bishop Jermaine Hurst, the chairman. Their speaker for the week will be uh, Apostle Andrew Henry. Kickstarted on the Thursday night, the Thursday, that's May. We're talking about May the 2nd to 4th. So Thursday, May 2nd, Apostle Andrew Henry, uh, Evangelist Paulette Stewart on Friday, and Elder Nicholas Chambers on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. And so if you're in Montreal or you need to book your tickets, book your time, head on over to Montreal. This will be happening at the Wisdom and Life Apostolic Church. That's the host church. That's where they'll be hosting it. At that time, that's a venue, I'm sorry for it. The host will be Pastor Hopton Mars. And Wisdom and Life Apostolic Church of Jesus Christ, 99 Avenue, the Port Pleasant, Point Claire in Quebec. And also, hotel information is available, Double Tree by Hilton, Montreal Airport Hotel. Book it, register for the conference. Of course, you can just go to Google. You can go to CDC website and get it. So that's CanadaPAW.ca for more information on the spring 
conference all right so uh we that's the spring conference that is coming up so of course we just want to let you know what your co-host and host is up to uh each time and different things that are happening so thank you again so that's what bishop um hope and mars gone over and support there in montreal we want to say good morning to all our listeners ella donovan brown my good friend tuning in saturdays after saturdays god bless you my aunt mahele emmings good morning to you uh nicole attil coming to us from boston massachusetts Good morning to you, my dear friend, um, who's tuning in and listening in and sharing and subscribing. We're getting a lot of great feedback. My dear sister in Florida, uh, Sonia, good morning to you there. Fiona says blessing. Um, good morning to you as well. The presiding bishop of the Bethel organization in Jamaica, Bishop B.C. Brown, is joining us. And he said, good morning. Good morning to you, Bishop. Amazing convocation. Uh, and last week, really powerful time, um, or two weeks ago at the, during the their national convocation. We say good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning to you, my friend, uh, Elder Ray, Pastor Ray McEwen, Rochester, New York. Uh, Elder Robinson, good morning to you from Manchester, UK. He's joining us every week, man of God. We know the time difference and so we are delighted to have you. Cheryl McClymont, good morning to you over there in New Jersey. We say good morning and thank you. Come on, tune in. Come on in, join in. Let us know where you're coming in from as you are joining. Bishop, we miss you last week. Uh, Elder Muir, we miss you last week. We had a powerful, powerful time. And last week, um, Pastor Kenyatta McLeish was with us. And, um, he, you know, he's going to be spending a little bit of time with us this morning. He's at work, but he's trying to uh, squeeze us some time. We had a wonderful time um, here. Uh, talking about the prior watches and we want to pick it up uh, and today and get your views and perspective and of course Pastor Kenyatta will be joining us um, shortly on it. So I'm going to set it up and then we'll go right into the discussion. All right, so here it is. In James chapter 5, verse number 16, we're told that the prior of a righteous man is powerful and effective. As we pray, we watch over our families, our cities, and our nations. Just as men stood on the city walls in the Bible to watch for approaching danger, God call us in a modern-day watchman and as modern-day watchmen and want to warn those in danger, according to 2 Kings chapter number 9, verse 17 to 18. We are to watch not only for the enemy's activity, but also for the manifestation of God's plan. If we watch for the enemy and announce his activity, we can avert the devil's plan to kill, steal, and destroy what God has for us. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 43, But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Today, more than ever, it is important that we pray and seek the mind of the Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, according to St. Matthew 6 and 10. Major decisions are confronted, um, which require us to know God's uh, individual will for our life. Today, we want to talk about the fourth watch of the night, and we'll move on to maybe the fifth and sixth watch, but we'll pick up from here on the fourth watch of the night. What is the fourth watch? The fourth watch, the 3 p.m. to 6 a.m. watch. This is the fourth watch of the night, and it's from 6 to 3. It's, not, it's the final watch of the night out of all the eight prior watches. This particular watch is where you will experience the most heightened amount of satanic and supernatural activity. This is the watch that is known as the witching hour. We also see the fourth watch being mentioned in St. Mark's Gospel, chapter number 6, 45 to 51, where they experience with Jesus. Jesus, he said, immediately he's made his disciple get into a boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he sent his multitude away. And when he had sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. Now when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone in the land. Then he saw them straining at roaring, for the wind was against them. Now, about the fourth watch of the night, he came with them, walking on the sea, and would have passed them by. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it was a ghost, and cried out, for they all saw him and were troubled. But immediately he talked with them and said, Be of good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. Then he went up into the boat with them and the wind seized, and they were greatly amazed in themselves beyond measure. 
This is the fourth watch of the night where we talk about night watch and spirits, satanic activity, hiking. And this is one of the watch we want to start with this morning. And we will move on from there as we proceed into uh, this podcast. So good morning. When we talk about um, the... And we want to also welcome um, our very special guest that will be joining us one more time. Um, he's the pastor of Pofita, Prior Faith International uh, Temple, Tabernacle rather, in um, Apostolic in Fort Lauderdale here in Florida. And so we want to thank you again for joining us, man of God, Pastor Prophet Kenyatta McLeish. So we want to welcome him again to the show, to the Ironman Empowerment Podcast. So welcome again, Pastor, to the podcast. So... Thank you for having me back on. God bless you, everybody. Grace and peace to you all. As you can see, I'm in my work clothes. So. <laughs> yes, we're glad you're joining us. And of course, we talk at the top that he will be with us for a couple hours. We tell him, sir, you have to come back. He said, I have to work. I said, give us some time. So he's in the he's in the office. So we'll 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 do a quick round table and then we'll let, let him in and come back. No problem. For, praise the Lord. So, Bishop, I'm gonna start off with you, sir. Um, when we think of talk about the prior watch, and it's in particular, we're moving to the fourth watch of the night, but holistically, give me your, your take when we talk about um, the prior watch. So we're going to start with you and Elder Muir. Uh, you weren't here last week. We'll get you warmed. So Bishop, welcome, sir, and talk to us. Oh, thank you very much, sir, and good morning, everyone, and um, um, all, the, all, all our hosts today, hosts and co-hosts, God bless you to all the... Um, Listeners, God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. Very um, powerful topic today. One that you rarely um, hear teach um, in churches and so on, because it's not be, it's not understood by a whole lot of people. It's not seen as important um, um, as a whole lot of, for a whole lot of people. Normally, the watches um, really are are, are um, those who those who pray during this time are normally what we call prayer warriors, um, folks who, who are kind of at another level, who understand spiritual warfare, um, who knows how to fight things spiritually, and so on. These are the folks that normally, um, you know, pr um, and pay attention to these watches because they recognize that these watches are special time period um, um, where certain things are released um um in 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 the kingdom right and and also in this um it's also a time where we where we conduct spiritual business in the spiritual realm and and so therefore it is important that 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 we do this um israel used to have watchmen on the wall at different hours and different times right and their responsibility was to watch for the enemy right they could not sleep right if they sleep and the enemy comes then um you know the, the blood will and and destroy the the, the people there the, the blood of that of the people would be up on that watchman's shoulder and so um i mean we cannot afford to be sleeping during this time um i was listening last week and i know quite a few was said um concerning this time and concerning these watches and so on so i don't want to go over um everything that was said but it is it, it is vital one of the things that um was said last week um and i think it 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 um we need to say it again is that your watch um um you know your watch and everyone is a, a child of god is 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 um appointed a watch and it is normal the time when you feel led to pray right when you feel led to pray and normally when you're praying through this at this particular time you normally have a release in your spirit to pray right it's not one of those times where you feel like your prayer and your prayer just eat the ceiling and so on there is normally a powerful release you're normally anointed to pray because the lord wake you up to intercede hallelujah god's going to open the heavens for you god's going to open every avenues amen every door amen for you to get your prayer in hallelujah be to god and when you don't feel like praying even though you wake up and you know it's your hour then you know that you're under spiritual attack a lot of people look at spiritual attack as a fact that boy you know they're sick they have this disease the kids are misbehaving and so on but one of the most powerful attack that they, that, that that the enemy launch on the people of god is where we attack your prior life 
right when you cannot pray and you don't feel led to pray and you, you don't feel feel like reading your bible or studying the word or going to the house of the lord you are under strong spiritual attack and one of the way of breaking this amen is to start to pray in the watches and we're and um we're gonna break them down later on i know um there is a lot were already break down during the um during last week so um you will hear more as we go on god bless you sir. amen thank you bishop elder muir uh talk to me sir uh the prior watch in particular as we look on this fourth watch as bishop getting warm and we'll dive into it um the fourth watch of the night um let's jump in it let me hear your take. Yes, we're still not hearing you, Ella Muir. There's still no sound from you. All right, so Ella Muir is still having uh, a bit of technical. Go ahead, Ella Muir, is that you? All right, so yes, I think we're hearing the sound. Go ahead, say something. No. No, not here, not here, Neil Elder, not here. Yes. Keep trying at and at any time you just chime in so we know that you are you are back with us. All right. So just keep trying. The enemy working. Yes. Just keep keep trying, keep trying. Pastor Kenyatta, I'll bring you in, sir. As we we go into the fourth watch, uh, this not this watch, of course, we talk about the dawn of the early morning watch, the six to uh, three to six watch. This is the final watch of the night, and then this watch we pray, Thy King, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Talk to me about the fourth watch. Uh, let's dive into it. Uh, give me your I... intro, and we move in. All right, blessings, uh, everyone, viewers, um, to the bishops that are on. Grace and peace to you, to my brother, Dr. Lincoln. I'm kind of out of my element, but in my element at the same time, because <laughs> I'm currently at work. But I, um, the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. watch, um, some mornings, uh, when I first started my journey with the Lord, um, I my 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 prayer time was between the hours of uh because i was still in school so it's between um 8 30 to about 10 because with my mama i had to be in bed before <clears throat> 9 30 save holy ghost feeling all still have to be in bed early for school and as i progressed when i left home and i went away to college i began to pray from 12 midnight until and then after I trans uh, translated out of college, I started to pray from about three thirty in the morning to about six. So my watches change, and now for me, um, the Lord is reprogramming my my watch. So it's like I can start praying from uh, six o'clock, eight o'clock, ten o'clock. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. And when I get up, sometimes the Lord wake me up at 3 a.m. in the morning. And um, I know it's not because I need to go to the restroom or the bathroom or whatever it is. It's because of this, this thing. And anytime I get up in that manner, there is activities that is happening concerning myself or those that I'm connected to. So I begin to pray um, for those that are, I am connected to in this particular watch, the fourth um, watch of the night, this is when the witches, the warlocks, um, uh, though, those that astral project in the spirit world begin to move and release what it is that they have prepared from in the daytime. So we have to become sensitive and even more strategic in the spirit with our prayer time. For this is one of the most active times um, in the watch, the, the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Because this is when deep sleep fall upon us as man. But this is when the adversary... Um, he begins to move as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. This watch, it is the last watch, so it is the most important one of the night for um, uh, those that operate in the dark realm. 
This is the most important one for them um, because the church is normally asleep. So they're, they, they're free to do whatever it is that they want to do. I heard a story years ago. Um, um, I heard a story years ago when I just started and they recognized that there was a mantle on me to pray. I believe everybody ought to pray, but there's some that God has called to truly stay on the wall, the watchmen. And a mother said to me, Kenyatta, there's a story that I learned um, um, growing up. And they said that there was this witch doctor in a community um, that got converted. Yeah. And they, and, and they started to interview this individual concerning the dark world because he knew he trained people and their agenda was to target the churches. So he says, we were free to go because everybody went to church, but they weren't praying. They gathered, but they weren't praying. So we target the neighborhoods where the churches were. And when they are asleep, he says, the best time is at 3 a.m. in the morning that we moved um, in the spirit. We find some place that we consecrate and we lay there, we set up our altars and we astro project our spirits out in the atmosphere. And we begin to, so when the pastors get up, they can't find no word to say. They go into church, it's confusion in there because they release their words, their enchantment over the areas um, at time. So he said, but there's one area that they could not get to. And the area was because there was a prior warrior that lived in that area. Every time they tried to go there, there was like a force shield that was over that community. So every time they tried to move in, they bounce back and they get um, distorted and some of them get trapped. Some people, they could not wake back up because their spirits were trapped in the atmosphere. So that is how powerful prayer is, especially at this particular time. The Bible says, while man yet sleep, yeah, the enemy, he moves freely. So if we are not praying, if we love our pillows and our, our silly pastropedics better <laughs> than prayer, then we're going to have problems. That's why we're seeing so much confusion in the church because we are not praying as we should in this particular watch. Deep sleep. Anybody knows. Um, I used to get up for work. I used to have to be at work at three o'clock in the morning. And at that time, when I used to drive uh, about 2.15, I left my house to get to work for 3 o'clock. Um, it was one of the most scariest times, especially certain neighborhoods that I go through to get to my job. Yes. So I'm going to stop right there. Prayer is essential. Amen. You're, you're muted. You're muted, Doc. Thank you, Bishop. Yes. So as we look into the fourth watch and I and I was sharing a slide earlier, some of the things that we want to call out and point out as we really dive into it and knowing the time that we have to work with. The three to four a.m. watch is what we call the witching hour. Yeah. As Pastor was mentioning. And let's let, let's go into some scriptures because last week and we want to make sure that as we share a slide, those who need those scriptural references, you can get those scriptural references from when we talk about the dawn watch. Your will thy will be done on, on earth from Mark 1 and 35. And, and I've shared the slide earlier. I'll share it again so you can get it. The significance of this watch, yeah, the significance of this watch can really be seen. Um, in Mark 1 and 35, where we see Jesus rising a great while before day and finding a, a solitary place to pray. This watch, what is significant with this watch? That's the time. This is a special time for divine judgment. Um, this is the last watch of the night. Very important to note. And then this fourth watch is also important because this is the last lap of the night race. This is when Israel was released from Israel. Uh, this watch is the time that satanic angels who were sent agents rather who were sent to perform their activity are returning to base this is a time uh, the devil and his courts are running back yes so that they are not caught up this is a time to release the judgment on the wicked who remain stiff naked for many for many warnings mm -hmm, and rebuke 
are in line with Proverbs 29 and verse 1. This is a time, time every enemy chariot would have their wheels removed according to Exodus 14, 24 and 28 and all their plans and programs and policies will fall. This is the period to release the manifestation of the full intensity of day spring shaking out the wicked. So what are we praying about? What is the significant? This is a time for your deliverance. If we see Job um, 38, 12 and, and uh, Isaiah 17 uh, verse 14, we are proclaiming before morning because day is about to break. And this is a time, as we said, that they are heading back. And, 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 and we have seen even in this time, as it's also known as the witching hour, it is during that hour that people are more likely to see heavy spiritual witchcraft. In Jamaica, we said, this is a time when people see ghosts. <laughs> you understand? Where people would say rolling them, calf. rolling calf <laughs> and all these things that would happen back then because of high spiritual wickedness. This is because of heavy uh, um, negromancy. This is because because of heavy juju spirit and these are deep spiritual um attack and different spiritual happening that happen and so the significance of it is that we on this podcast want to bring to the believer an awareness and understanding as to what is happening at the different time why we are saying with you and as bishop said at the top if you feel a lead at a certain particular time to pray this is your watch but we also want you to know that what happened, the different activity that is happen, happening at different time of the day. The witching hour, and then I'm going to jump and come to Pastor Clive. The witching hour between three to four in particular is known as the witching hour. That particular time within the watch, within that three hour space. It is during this hour that people are more likely, as we said, to see those heavy spiritual wickedness. It is right before the breaking of dawn. Around 5 a.m. that workers of darkness seize their activity before daybreak. Break, uh, between three, four, there to five. Testimonies of former wicked bishop, of former witches and warlocks, and have been converted to Christianity. Tell their experience where they that where they went out of their bodies on witchcraft assignment through what we call astral projection. Yes. And, and, and a past um prophet touch it, where where they went out of their body, you know, astral projection, and they had to return back to their body by a certain time. And this time is before 6 a.m. that they have to return back to their body. Because, and, and when people hear this, they're like, what craziness is it? Yes, these are heavy spiritual wickedness. So the Bible talk about spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, this is not for regular Christians who are just coming who don't understand. This is deep spiritual activity you know that are taking place. So we want you to understand uh, I'm sorry, Prophet. I'll come to you. I wanted to understand what is happening. And so, if you if you are young in it, you you would not get it right away. But that's why we're bringing this teaching to you so that you understand what's happening. Otherwise, then when, when this is because when we look at it, this is because they would have shaken out dawn light according to the book of Job. The book of Ecclesiastes talk about the silver cord of the life of life that snap. Mm -hmm. You will hear many witches of the new age practitioners speak about the cord while they practice astral uh, projection, that cord that connect them back to their, 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 their body and their spirit. This is a time they receive assignment. That is why witches will come and be brave and tell you their assignment is to kill you because they have received their assignment and they will tell you what their assignment is. They will go as bold as tell you the altar in which they come off or they're coming from and what their assignment is. You understand? Because you, when if you're raising havoc in, 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 the, in hell, then the enemy is going to come after you. Scriptural reference, and I'm going to run on. Ecclesiastic chapter 12 and verse number 6 said, Yes, remember your creator now while you're young before the silver card of life snap. That's what it, I'm giving you the explanation. And the golden bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water jar is smashed at the, at the spring and the pulley is broken at the well. You're dead. Nothing else can happen. Job 38, verse number 12 to 15 said, And you, and have you ever ordered morning, get up, told down, get to work, so you could seize earth like a blanket and shake out the wicked like cockroaches, in other words, as the sun bring everything to light, 
bring out all the colors and shape. The colors of darkness is snatched from the wicked. They are caught in their very act. These are the different activities that is happening. And I want the church to understand. I want our listeners to understand the power in which you have and the different things that are happening in the realm of the spirit. Um, Pastor Clive, I'm going to come to you, sir. Uh, let's hear your voice and bring you in on this witching hour. Um, one of the things I was thinking about, and um, I want us to realize that um, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness. And I, I, and I wish that if all believers across the world will understand that you know God places us in um, different area. You know, we talked about earlier that you know the, all these watches, and it's impossible for uh, you know for everybody to be at the same time, at the same watch. And that's why God will place you in the UK where you're ahead of us. When we're sleeping, you're awake and you're, 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 you're dealing with stuff in that time and, and, and so on. Um, it is important that we, we understand that we have to, um, we, have, we, we need persons, we need people to shut down these watches. We need people to shut down in that time and to be able to, pray and to uh, uh, um, intercede on behalf of the saint um, uh, uh, without, uh, you know because you know you know the enemy is not fighting the world the enemy is fighting us so while men sleep my God Almighty uh, you know so we, we, we need to we need to we need to um, get the, the come to the consciousness of why this this is so important for us to do and to understand why we need to um, pray in these watches and also as Paul would put it that we must pray always with all prayer and supplication for the same praise praise the Lord just um, as I come to Bishop Bishop I just want to bring um read one thing quickly um from Pastor Liston England he's preaching and he's a blessing doc I believe it's important to understand I believe it's important that we understand that preparation is key to everything if the church is sleeping at dawn at the dawn of the day the church cannot make any preparation for controlling the day so the kingdom of darkness tries to establish control over the dawning day so that when we get up to establish control we'll have some catching up to to do while we're playing catch up they would be flowing in the evil that they have planned when i pray that watch i am convinced that demon did not walk on the same street as me i believe they went the other way it is a powerful time to pray thank you pastor listen england from over there in atlanta bishop okay thank you yeah and um pastor um atkinson said, said something very um powerful and important he said that's why we have different time zones um you know we might be night but in somewhere else it's day right and so people can be praying child of god and god of people everywhere um basically to be to, um i'm praying all over the place so you know they do take up a watch for us also but also during this watch um it was a time when god shut the mouth of the lions called the bible said the king in the morning just before the break of day come by and shout oh daniel is thy God whom they serve able to deliver thee from the lions? And Daniel said, O king, live forever. Yes, right? So this is a powerful time. This is the time where you shut the mouth, amen, hallelujah, of your attackers, right? Right? This is the time when, 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 when you shut the mouth of things that come to destroy you, destroy your future, destroy your day, destroy your children, things that come to eat you up right um, um um this is the time that's why most people normally feel sick during this time of the night right um a day or some other bad feeling wake them up but it's about very powerful time to pray this was the time amen hallelujah it was during this watch that the angel take the prayer request so if you have an overnight delivery or a priority prior meal Right, on, or an express prior meal to send. This Overnight. is the time to pray it because My this God. is the time when the angel take it. Right, the, the, the Jacob met the angel, right, and and, okay. and 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 begin to wrestle with him. And the angel said, "Man, the day breaking, I have to go." Right, right, and Jacob said, "No, I will not let thee go until what you 
bless me because right. in the next watch jacob will have to meet his brother <laughs> right so he needs a blessing the angel have a blessing and the angel was willing to leave without it but because yes. Jacob wrestled with the angel during this time. Hallelujah. Be to God. And the angel cannot be held up because mm -hmm. they are on assignment. Right? So angels are on assignment. Angels My are watching. Angels ministered at different time zones. Right? So, 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 so therefore the angel said, look, man, I, I got to go. I got to go. Yes. My time is up. And Jacob said, I'm not letting you go. You ain't leaving earth realm. Right, Regin, why was it then that, that a man could wrestle with an angel? Yes. <laughs> you, you, you have to understand this, Regin. Amen. Why a man can wrestle with an angel? Ain't many no, 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 no uh, match for an angel. It's because the angel, amen, was in the, the, was, was in the zone of the man. Earth belongs to man. Right? And when angels come down to it, you have as man have dominion in that right. realm. We have dominion in the earth realm. And so that's why now a man now, oh my God, who God give dominion. Go in, Bishop. Go in. To, amen. Can, could have wrestled with this angel. Hallelujah be to God. And so that's where your prayer and your power is, is, is concerned, is that you Amen. Man, earth is man dominion. So now you have power over spiritual activities and demons that operate on the face of the earth because God give you this realm. And so that's why now, oh, you get power over them. Amen. Pastor, I can, Pastor, I can say we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. You can rest with, with, with principalities and power is when they it's come down mm -hmm. into your space. It's yes. when they come down into the earth realm that God give you power and authority over that, that, that you can fight them, that you can destroy them, but you only do it through prayer so that's the reason why now you need to be able to pray during this time right this time also is a time amen in in, in which you set your day right it's which you command your day right so so therefore this is the time when you pray and you said god i need you to go into the other watches and you bless the other watches right you, you bless the early morning watch you bless your midday watch you bless your afternoon watch or your evening watch this is the time that you go in amen and you can step into those in, in into those areas because this time of prayer prepare you for the day so when you when you get the victory during this watch, you walk out, hallelujah, bit out of your house, you walk out, go into your car in the power of the spirit of Almighty yes. God. You walk out with authority. Amen. You already, you already, you already um, um defeated accidents. You said no accidents today. You are right. received, you already oh, defeated <laughs> you no dead today. Right? You already de defeated amen, any kind of attack and every right. arrows that this enemy sent. You said you will not find me today. Not today. You pray in this watch. You destroy the enemy in this watch. And the angel leave a blessing in this watch. Bridget, do not pray without angels. Oh my God. You have the authority to pray. Remember, you know, Revelation teach us that it is the angels of God that actually take your prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible is in Revelation that, that the angel have a vial, have a vial have like a, like, it's like a cup, right? Amen. And, and, and it have the prayer. What did it have the prayer of the okay. sea to throw it on, to throw it down to the earth? So angels are responsible to take your prayers to God. So it's important now, amen, that when you pray, you command the angels to take your prayer to God. Remember, it's the same angels that met Jacob when he left Uncle Laban also, amen, and they surrounded the, the, the angels of the Lord and camp it round about them. Oh, them that, that fear him. him. And so yes. you must command your angels, I need you to take this prayer to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy, and they holy, take holy. It to him, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. And he will answer your prayer. I, I will stop there. And the, well, I'm done. I just feel the anointing. And the My God. Bishop, might as well you flow. Powerful. 
You are yes. powerful on earth. Realm. Don't say look at me now. There's no such thing as look at you. Amen. They, you know, my bishop already said, um, you know, sometimes you ask some people what's going on at church. Well, not the much. We just have a look of prayer. There is no such thing as a look of prayer. There is no such thing as a look of prayer meeting. Prayer mm -hmm. is powerful. Amen. Let me tell you. You don't just say a prayer. Prayer is powerful. That's why, yes, they, that's why the enemy tried to stop you from praying. And if you ever get to pray in this watch, man, you must have the devil plan throughout the whole day. My oh, God. In my Jesus God. Name. That is why you attack a prayer warrior. Prayer, you're somebody asking question why you attack a prayer warrior? Because you're powerful. When you pray, you mash up the plans of hell. The Bible said, even when the weakest saints pray, the devil tremble. Please, Pastor Ken, I know you're on fire, but I have to take a break. I miss my cue. Please stay with us. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back right here on HGG Radio. Everywhere he went. Calling all believers. Are you continuing steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine? Join us right here on HGG Radio, Mondays to Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. EST for a new and exciting Bible discussion program, The Apostles' Doctrine. Come and hear the word being rightly divided by dynamic preachers and teachers. It's The Apostles' Doctrine, hosted by Minister Tyrone Reed, weekdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST. Come for the fellow Stay for cerebral conversations and all things scriptural. A revolution is coming to the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Get ready for the pulsating, electrifying, inspiring, and motivating two hours of music, word, health, and wealth. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Right here on HGG Radio. Join me, your host, Rashane Douglas, the Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's the new time for the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Right here on HGG Radio. Visit our website, hggradio.ca, or download the HGG Radio mobile app. See you soon. Amplify your Are you ready to amplify? Are you ready to amplify your message and reach hearts with purpose? Introducing HGG Advertising, your partner in spreading the gospel and connecting with the Christian community. Churches, Christian-based businesses, listen up. With HGG Advertising, you can reach your audience through powerful radio campaigns. Engage hearts, inspire minds, and grow your community with HGG Radio, which is already reaching 136 countries worldwide. We specialize in promoting Christian values and helping businesses aligned with faith-based principles. Whether it's a church event or your business rooted in Christian values, HGG Advertising Thank you for staying with us here on the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. We are live on HGG Radio. Of course, we have our very special guest, Pastor Kenyada McLeish, who's joining us. Thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you for staying with us here on HGG Radio. Of course, we have a very special guest, Pastor Kenyatta McLeish, who is join, uh, joining us for the um on this our podcast, we are talking about the prior watches. And of course, we are looking at the fourth watch of the night, the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. watch, of course, along with our co-host right here in HGG Radio. So thank you so much for staying with us. Pastor Kenyatta, we'll jump right back in the conversation, sir. Uh, I know you wanted to chime in there uh, um, from Bishop. So pick it up, sir. Come right in. Talk Grace, to us. Um, just want to point out something that even in this particular watch, there is a story in the Bible concerning... Uh, Saul. Remember when King Saul went to the witch of um, Endive um, to seek the counsel of Samuel. This is at that particular time. So this is the time where individuals in um, the, the kingdom of darkness is able to uh, call for the spirit of the dead to come and release secrets or whatever things of that nature. So it is important that, um, and I love when Bishop, I wish he just continued um, speaking because this man is like full of like some serious, serious power um, concerning prayer. But you know, this is the reason why it is important that we, we get up and we pray 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. The, the other thing is that when we pray, we force the enemy out of his element to come into our element. So when they come down to where we are, we now have the authority over the principalities to destroy them. Prayer literally put the enemy in a chokehold and drag him to the place where we have full authority to destroy the works of the adversary. If we do not get up and pray according to the word of the Lord, we are going to continue to be defeated, broken. Cycles are going to continue to continue. God. If you notice the patterns, I think we spoke about that um, last week, the patterns in some of our bloodlines will continue. Every five years, somebody die. Why? Because we do not build our prior walk before the Lord. And also, the watches also represents, according to what I have received, the altars that we have made to God. Now, if we are praying and we don't have altars, we will not have the ability to take what is in the spirit world into the natural. Understand? So when we begin to present our bodies before God as the sacrifice on the altar, it shifts everything into our, into our favor. And it prior gives us leverage. Lord God, I love you. It gives us leverage. It level the playing field. One of the most powerful persons, as we all know, um, is a person that knows how to pray. It's not the preacher. It's not the praise and worship leader, but it's somebody that have the ability to intercede, to interact, to communicate with God. And we also have to understand that prayer is not just me talking to God, but it's also God talking to us. So in this particular watch that we are in at this time in the morning, this is the time that we begin to declare thy kingdom come thy will be done what is heaven saying concerning lincoln what is heaven saying concerning bishop bishop what is heaven saying concerning pastor clad thy kingdom come heaven is saying that i wish above all things that thou prosper and be in good health so this is how we begin to pray because the enemy has already released strategies against us to hinder and to disallow our day so when we begin to pray we begin to declare the word of the lord i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath so when you begin to pray i i would love to challenge everybody those that are listening on youtube those that are listening on the radio those that are listening on facebook wherever you're listening on listen i would challenge you seven days straight at a particular watch take a watch for seven days whatever has been going on in your life it is going to be broken it takes 21 days i believe for a habit amen something bad to be formed in your life seven days to start a new pattern seven days can you imagine that if you set your time to get up at 12 from 12 to 3 o'clock to pray every night what would happen i guarantee you that 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 your family life will come together i guarantee you amen that the sicknesses that was going on in your body will begin to dry up that revival will begin to hit your church revival will begin to hit your ministry financial difficulties will begin to go and i'm talking this because this is what the lord has been dealing Dealing with me concerning. He said, Kenya, that there is too much things that is happening around you, and there is too much that I've invested in you for you to be in the place that you are. He said, There is a cycle that must be broken, and the only way it's going to be broken is when you get back into your watch and set a watch. Reintroduce yourself back to the altar of prayer. Reintroduce yourself back to the watch that kept you while you were in college, that kept you while you were single, that you didn't have to go out and sleep around because I had you on a watch to pray to keep your body under subjection to cause these spirits that was coming after you to back up. Why? Because you have built 
Hallelujah. Your borders, you have set up uh, spiritual walls and fire screen against the enemy. We lose battles because we don't pray. Ooh. We lose victory because we don't pray. We lose revelational insight because we don't pray. We lose strategies because we don't pray. God says, I will only reveal my secrets to my friend. How am I going to become Bishop Hopeston, Hopeton friend and I don't have communication with him? I don't talk to him, but I want him to release his secrets to me. There is no way that's going to, you're going to look at me like I'm a crazy person. Who's this boy coming to me and asking me my secrets? I don't know who you are. And this is when the scripture is going to begin to say to us, why? Because we don't pray. Uh, Paul, I know. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Jesus, mm -hmm. I know. But who are you? How are you going to cast out demons and you don't know the one that gives the power to cast them out? How are you going to preach the gospel and you don't talk to the one who is the gospel? How are we going to raise the dead and you don't go back to the resurrection? Hallelujah to God. We got to get back to prayer. Hallelujah. Preaching is not power without prayer. Singing Ooh. is no power without prayer. Glory to God. And we cannot have church without prayer for prayer is the foundation of the church yes we are apostolic i believe in the baptism in jesus name i believe that you must be filled with the holy ghost but a lot of us are stuck just on baptism and being filled being filled and no prior life is powerless being baptized in jesus name and no prior life you just only been washed you have no come on, relationship come on, you that. have no revelation you have no insight glory be to god we got to get back to the basic how did the apostle even jesus christ himself this is one of the times that Jesus prayed. He even, he said, whatever, before I do anything, I got to seek my father's face. Uh, before I cast out a demon, before I enter into a region, before I begin to teach, before I raise the dead, before I turn the water into the wine, I got to pray. Why? Because prayer gives me insight into the unknown it unlocks the mysteries in the earth realm and the heaven so that now i have the ability to negotiate properly so that i can get what it is that god has released unto me hallelujah a lot of people they study but they don't pray studying will not release the secrets Prayer will, re will release the secrets of heaven. Study to get knowledge, but prayer gives you revelation. I'm at work. God, I'm at work. I'm at work. My God, go work. and profit. Go and profit. Work. Let him use The, the Lord taught me this. He said, when prayer becomes our first priority, heaven will be at your access. Mm -hmm. But since prayer is not our first priority, we continue to struggle in a realm that he has given us authority and dominion in. Mm -hmm. We as a people, we know how to do church good. We know how to administrate good. We know how to pack out a house for a good concert. And everybody will run to a concert. Eh? Nobody can tell me otherwise. You run to a concert, you sure. say you have free jerk chicken, free jerk pork, curry goat, manish water. At the end, everybody come out. We have this artist coming. Pack out. But call a midnight prayer. Call an all-night prayer meeting. The bishop will be there. His family will be there. Maybe some seasoned mothers will be there, but nobody else will be there. Why is that? One of the most the most powerful service in Christian walk is prayer, but it's the most least supported. And that's why the witches can walk freely among us. And we don't even know. That is the reason why these agendas are being pushed and we don't even know when the bible tells us and the government shall be upon our shoulder nothing happens in the earth lest god reveal it first to the prophet but we are not praying a prophet who don't pray you are a psychic 
a prophet who don't have a relationship with God in prayer, you are a psychic and you are operating, hallelujah, from a familiar stream. Woo! Prior forces an individual to be consecrated and yes. set apart. My you God. cannot pray and you're living in iniquity. You cannot pray and your lifestyle is not according to the word of the Lord. The Bible tells us that if we regard iniquity in our hearts, the Lord will not hear us. That's why no. we can't even rebuke a headache. We can't even rebuke a mosquito because we have no prayer life. <laughs> well, well, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. I'm going to throw it right back onto Bishop. The Lord said this to me concerning the situation that happened. And the Lord shows us things, but because we're not praying Come on. as we should, we don't see it clearly. The Lord said this, and it may sound crazy, the teacher's process, and y'all can clear this up for me. He said, there's a lot of people that are preaching mm -hmm. that have a sound, but they are not sound. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean by that, God? He says, they have the knowledge to preach, but they yes. have no revelation of who I am. Because they don't pray. They study my word not to be transformed, oh but God. to entice. Mm. Lord, help me, Jesus. Mm. They study my word to get clickbait, catchy phrases. Yes. Oh, turn around, slap your seat. The fire of God is here. He said they yes. have no power. He said my yes. word and my power is not gimmicks. But when you pray, when you stand flat-footed and declare what my word says, my, my word God. will do the work. You don't my need God. no gimmicks. Let my Come word on now. do the work. Come but on because now. we are not praying, you study 20 hours to preach one hour, but you pray 30 minutes to preach for one hour. How is that? I'd rather to pray 20 hours and study the word for 30 minutes because if I spend time with him in prayer, he will open up the, the dimension of his word to me so that I'm able to give what you need and I won't be preaching from my head but I'll be preaching from my spirit spirit come uh, on preacher well come on well okay, we need Bishop, power I'm, in preaching me we have right, power come, in preaching work to do oh, power in preaching proper God stay bless. right here stay right here with us don't go anywhere uh Elder Muir, let me hear you, sir. And then I'll bring Pastor Clyde. I'm telling you, it is hot. It is so hot. I'm not even sure how we're going to get through these Elder watches, Muir. but I'm so grateful. Guess what? Uh, Pastor Kenyatta is available next week. So again, uh, you know, since he's not moving on, moving us into the what, he, he'll be back. Elder Muir, uh, talk to us. Let's see if we can hear you. Come through, Elder, Elder Muir. No, Praise the Lord. Yes, yeah, so Elamior uh, stuff is free. Elamior? Yes, nothing from Elamior. Amen. The uh, enemy is just trying to attack his audio and everything going on. Could I just find that spirit in, in, yes, in, the, in the name of Jesus? Where he's located. I'm telling he's you. The goal in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, Bishop. Check, check in, Elamior. <laughs> nothing from Elamior nothing uh he's yes. gonna keep trying and we'll let him say some amens when his stuff is coming in so we can hear him uh bishop i i see you're scratching yeah. your head i know you're ready to go and then i'll bring pastor clive in yeah no bishop, I, come I, on I, I'm, I'm i'm this is just so powerful um at, at this time you know and um <clears throat> amen as as the prophet here talking about the uh important of prayer um you know when you pray right you god must be able to reveal stuff to you through prayer our prayer sometimes are just too i, I don't know just, just too normal <laughs> I, I, I mean when 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 um pretty prior when sophisticated when big word pray, when yes. people pray the lord reveals stuff unto him right mm -hmm. right when even a man that we said uh, that's not never have the holy ghost here was not baptized in jesus name cornelius the lord revealed unto him and to his house that's how powerful prayer is prayer must be able we must be able to can project ourselves through prayer mm -hmm. through prayer god must be able to send you amen hallelujah to jamaica while you are in canada or usa and show yourself 
true prayer god must be able to can give you a vision i take you into a trance right and bring you to places deliver somebody and come back you can ask philip hallelujah be to god that god take him up and take him to a man amen reading the bible amen hallelujah man read the scripture and 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 and, and peter's understand what not what don't read this and the man so can i i understand let somebody teach me and then he yes. talks to him amen you know last night um lord wake me up i, I got up uh maybe around after one o'clock wasn't feeling so well and so i got up amen i said no i'm not feeling well and i teach you something here today um um and and so um i'm the whole oh i normally do it if the if the enemy mess with my sleep i go to prayer <laughs> Yes, right. yes. I, I, I don't try to fall back asleep. I don't look up in the sky. I go to prayer. So the enemy don't really mess with my sleep. Because if he mess with my sleep, I'm going to prayer and I'm right. going to rebuke and all these yes. things. So around one o'clock, I, 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 I went to bed, wasn't feeling well after I got up. Amen. And I began to pray in my little prayer closet. I look a place in my living room that I dedicated as my war room, so to speak. And I begin to pray, right? And talk to the lord amen hallelujah and i get up and i go go back to sleep go back to lie down while lying down i got a vision i was in a service amen there was a girl there that have an headache hallelujah be to My god, god. She a amen and, and 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 i was there and they asked me to pray and i begin to, to to say god you are the god of all healing of all deliverance breakthrough you cannot be in this service and and and, and not be healed amen pray for her amen i command the headache to leave when i wake up this morning i was fine perfectly amen and so i recognize that the, the way oh i was feeling it was because somebody else was sick and the lord want me to to to, to pray, pray. Yes. Call them somewhere, and so therefore there are some things that come up on you is not for you. Do not own it. Don't say it's my headache. No, yes. no, no, no. You know, you know, have no headache, right? Don't don't say it's it's, it's my COVID or it's it's, it's, it's it's my stress or it's it's it's, it's my um, um diabetes. And no, it's not yours. Sometimes yes. as a prayer warrior, the Lord will put Holy some God. stuff on you and i mean and you will feel how others feel and that feeling is to allow you to pray for them effectively because you can't pray for them effectively unless you begin to feel what they feel hallelujah be the god but when you begin to own it now it becomes yours hallelujah because yeah, you own it you say i'm my own i'm my own yes I'm my, yes you know, I'm my diabetes you know i'm my cancer you, you know I'm, I'm my i have this the doctor said have this and you believe it you know what the bible said and i think somebody write it inside amen of the um 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 in, i'm writing somewhere in the chat somewhere amen james chapter five talk about the effectful prayer of a righteous uh, yes. it much what that right, word right. when you read some other translation you know what it said Bridget? It, it 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 is said that the art felt prayer of a righteous man right right avail it more that means your prayer must be heartfelt so what god do sometimes now he put some stuff on you so when you you begin to pray for some people who are going through what the lord put on you 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 can be heartfelt you because you, you feel it before so you can pray from your heart so that you become effective you, you yes. know you are praying brethren based on on, on on your effectiveness in prayer you know what what, what, what is given on to you based on what people are asking you to pray so if somebody come and pray you for a day asking you to pray for them because they have an a day that's the level of anointing that they see on you if yes. they're concerning cancer that's the level of anointing that they see on you if they said the doctor said that i'm i've given up on my their husband or their wife but i believe that if you pray because that they, they see the lord open up their eyes to see it not virgin and don't behave that the king of israel to say why this man come to me now? Oh my God, no! It's because the anointing open up the eyes for them to see the level of anointing that's on you amen mm -hmm. and you need to step in the role of the prophet of god hallelujah yes. amen and say send him to me and let me pray and then when you pray have shandabai every single yoke upon that person life must be broken god will not put them in you in their spirit to pray and don't give you nothing oh my god give to them 
No, no. God will give you something. God will send somebody to you who is hungry and know you don't have no food in your house to give. Hallelujah be to God. God will make sure even if a handful of meal you have, amen, and big gin of coconut all in a bottle, if I will, that you will have. God will make sure you have something to say. If they come to you for prayer, it is God that direct them because God said, I put in you the level of anointing, the level of power, the level of glory on your life to break whatsoever they are going through at the moment. And so you just need to go to God and say, God, in the name of Jesus, I believe. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And command whatsoever is attacking them to be broken by the spirit and by the power of Almighty God to the God in Jesus' name. God bless you, Bishop. I mean, powerful, powerful. Uh, please stay with us. Um, we're going to come back with Pastor Prophet Kenny Adam please. Bishop, such powerful oh. word. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back with you here on the Ironman Empowerment Podcast on HGG Radio. Saffron Caribbean Delight, your one-stop Caribbean cuisine restaurant with their tasty oxtail, curry chicken, jerk chicken, and stew beef, not to mention their weekend specials, fried fish, and soup. Come out and get a taste of the Caribbean, located at 8155-112 Avenue, or call to order at 780-474-9005. Opening hours from Tuesdays to Thursday from 1 to 7 p.m. and Friday and Saturday, 1 to 8 p.m. Saffron Caribbean Delight. It's not about the quantity, but the quality. HGG Radio. HGG Radio. All in one dollar store. All in one. Get your groceries, over-the-counter drugs, home decor, bathroom, laundry, and kitchen accessories, comforters, blankets, beauty, stationery, events, and birthday supplies, children toys, kids' clothes, sneakers, sandals, hats, track suits, winter spring jackets, and so much more. Visit them today. 8904 Street. 118 Avenue, Edmonton, Alberta. Open every day. Call 587-977-2343. Email waka1041 at gmail.com. All in one dollar store. Fire. The Holy Ghost in my house. I feel like Jerry. Thank you for staying with us here on the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. Of course, we are talking about prior, the prior watches, and we want to thank those who are joining us from near and far on the platform today. We have persons joining us from Canada, uh, in Edmonton, in Calgary, in Toronto, in Montreal, from in the U.S. throughout. Uh, I'm seeing persons from New York, New Jersey, Rochester, uh, New York, of course, uh, Atlanta, Delaware, uh, Philly, we Florida. You're coming all over the u.s thank you antigua i see you saint martin i see you grand cayman you're in the house jamaica you're in the house from near and far everywhere you're joining us from of course we're seeing the masses from the uk or massive over there in the uk thank you so much for joining us as we talk about the holy ghost in our house we want to shift the gear just a little bit in this the final few minutes of the program and we want to talk about the fi fifth watch of the night fifth watch which is known as not of the night because we just did the last watch the late morning our first watch of the day and this is between 6 a.m and 9 a.m what happened during this watch the outpouring of the holy ghost the holy ghost in my house as we have just entered with that break yeah and we coming from acts 2 uh you know we see the holy ghost pouring out proverbs number 4 and verse 16 at proverbs chapter 4 uh, acts 2 verse 4 17 and 18 the holy ghost came before the third hour this was the first watch of the day this is a watch for the beginning of sunrise what happened in this watch it's a time for the declaration of utterances right time for declaration of utterances uh, acts 2 verse 15 psalms 2 verse 7 to 9 the spiritual significance of sunrise is having jesus christ the king of king and the lord of lord rise over us instruct the sun that it rises over people it should accurately represent jesus christ the son of righteousness and bring healing for the soul the heart the emotion the mind the bodies families relationships marriages in our land and also for the 
land. Pray for the son of righteousness would rise with healing in his, in his wings. There shall be healing in your prior life, health, relationship, family, government, economy, etc. This is also the time for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, for the equipping for service and for your light to shine in the day. This is a time. It is also known as a time for healing. Uh, Elder Muir, I'm coming to you in the fourth watch of the day. Talk to us about commanding our day as we rise up between the 6 to 9 a.m. watch and the first watch of the day. Elder Muir. Thank you. I hope you're hearing me now. I... Yes, we need to make a round of applause. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, yes. Let me say good morning to everyone who is online. You know, I, I became resolved to just sit in back. <laughs> <laughs> to just sit in back and listen because Bishop Mars was truly fired up and Pastor Kenyatta. A, a, a whole lot of things coming out from this praise the name of Jesus. Now, the fifth watch, as you have said, is a morning watch. And, and, and this represents a time that God strengthens Christian. It is a time where the, the, the Holy Spirit comes into service when we are equipped by the Holy Spirit. If we should actually uh, look into this particular watch, we realize that um, it was the third hour of the day when the Holy Spirit descended in the upper room on the day of Pentecost to equip over 120 disciples for service. I mean, if we truly want God a uh, 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 protection, if we truly want him to, 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 to work in our lives, this is a time to target in prayer. And what I've noticed, though, uh, uh, Dr. Lincoln, is that for every single prior watch, it is important for Christians. And, and, and I like the fact that we, we, you said that we're to target and Bishop mentioned earlier that uh, the time that God uh, brings you that unction, when, when God is pushing you to prayer, would be the time that you're assigned to pray. So our assigned time is important uh, in, in, in these prayer watches. God bless you all. I'm, I'm happy I got a word in this morning. I, I, I want to listen to the men of God as they, 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 they go into this. God bless. Thank you, Elder. We're so grateful that we're able to hear you and hear your voice at this morning. God Thank bless you. you. Uh, so amen. Uh, Pastor Kenyatta, come on in, sir. Come on in, sir. God bless you, everyone. Um, I thought it was going to continue, you know. Uh, it's good to hear Elder as a mirror. Praise Jesus. Amen. <laughs> it's good to hear, hear your voice um, this morning. And I am humbled and honored again to participate. Um, there's something that jumped out um, in my notes concerning this watch, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm going to read it in somebody's testimonial. He says, one intercessor shared this insight. I find the main focus of a watch is found this way. The word and event in time intersection. At this particular watch, when we begin to pray, target prayers are in, it's going to sound crazy, but wicked prayers are dangerous prayers. Mm -hmm. At this particular time of the early morning watch, this is when God releases divine strength unto us. Now, we remember, we, we have just come shifting out of warfare mode from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. So now we got to be strengthened because we can't go to sleep now in the day. We're starting to work. So now we got to be vigilant. We got to see, okay, God, you have downloaded into us in this season what to do. Now strengthen us so that we can carry out the mandate of the mantle that is on us. It is, uh, and one of my, my aunties are, is on, and she uh, taught me this, and I said it um, last week. In this time is where you begin to also declare crop failure to what the enemy 
has released because in the process of us praying there are still movements of the adversary planting things checking the gardens now all of a sudden you're in your home you and your wife was on good terms all of a sudden a little disagreement come up something was planted all of a sudden your son that was good son um you know in the church playing the drums all of a sudden now he shipped from one school to the next school and something was planted in that atmosphere behavioral patterns begin to change are you hearing me? Um, uh, he wants to hang out. He wants to do these things. So now is a time where we begin to say, whatever the enemy has planted, whatever the enemy has released, God has strengthened me to interrupt and to intercept it. Why? Because I am an intercessor that is assigned unto my family, assigned unto my community, assigned unto the organization that I'm a part of, the body of Christ. So we as watchmen have the ability to intercept. We can't put down what has been given unto us. Even though the season has shifted, we're still on our post. Our position never changes. Come on. Mm -hmm. And again, our position never changes. And God wants us as believers, intercessors, those that are called to pray. Everybody ought to pray. Everybody. But they are those that are called the remnant, the Issachars that are called to watch, to stand. The Gideons that are called to watch, to stand. The Nehemiahs that are called to build and to have mm -hmm. your sword. That is who we are. Whether you are a bishop and you can tell who you are by the congregation you lead. What position you hold. Are you an intercessor? If you're an intercessor, then those that come to your ministry are going to be people of prayer. If you're a worshiper, so to speak, the strong point of your ministry will be worship. Mm -hmm. If you are somebody of prayer, the strong point of your ministry will be prayer. If you are a teacher of the word, the strong point of your ministry will be the teaching anointing. But if you carry all of these, you are a dangerous person in the kingdom, a oh, teacher, God. an intercessor. A worshiper, you are dangerous. This is why the enemy attacks us so much because we are not functioning as a one-dimensional entity, but we are functioning as a three-dimensional being that houses the power of God in us. So anytime we pray, we're not praying according to our head knowledge, but we're praying according to what the Spirit of God has placed on the inside of us. That is why we can't pray these simple prayers. In this watch, you command and govern your day. That's why I am so careful of what I say, um, bro, at this present time, sorry for calling you, bro, but the, the bro, this is a, I, I am careful because I realize that whatever comes out of my mouth govern my day. Mm -hmm. Whatever I speak, whether it is ingesting, this is what begins to happen in my day. So if I begin to declare from this time, oh my God, as Bishop said, you know, my, my sickness, I begin to say, it's not mine. God didn't give me sickness. Why am I claiming my high blood pressure, my diabetes, my headache, my body ache? No. The other day I was in prayer about last year and the Lord, I was praying about a situation that was happening in my body. And I said, God, and you know the fear that come up over you. Oh my God. Oh, I, I might die. I won't be able to see my children um, get married and things. I said, hold on the What is that? And the Holy Ghost says to me, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body is not the temple of sickness, diseases, or pain. He said, when you begin to declare this, yes, your body is going to come under certain attack, but you don't acknowledge it. Tell me what my word says. Mm -hmm. Tell me what my word says. Why? Because the Holy Ghost in this period has empowered you for service, not to preach, but to serve 
God. He gave you the power to say into the environment, mm. you will not control my movement, but I yes. control what you do concerning me. Mm. And according to the word of the Lord, he said mm -hmm. that my steps are being ordered by him, by Lord. God. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to step back. Bless you. Bless you. Pastor Clive, I want to bring you in to hear your voice as well uh, on this. Thank you, Pastor uh, Kenyatta. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost as he has touched the, with this as the beginning of the day. How important it is for us to get up between uh, in the morning, 6 a.m., 9 a.m., and really speak into our day. Morning, start our day in prayer, start our day in consecration, declaring, decreeing what happened. We understand the power the Holy Ghost poured out on this time. We know the power of God uh, that that happened, the move of God that happened during this time, how important it is for us to wake up and pray in, in the morning, 6 a.m. to 9. Uh, talk to us, Pastor Clive. Amen. We want the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Um, you know, as as as, as um, Doc says earlier, um, but for the whole, for the entire day. Um, so you get up in the morning and you set your day, what you want your day to be like. Remember, you control the atmosphere. When you get up in the morning, you control. You you go ahead before you. Remember, nothing take your God by surprise. So nothing should take you by surprise. You go ahead before yourself. You fly every trouble of the enemy. You cover your children. You cover your, 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 your church family. Um, there was something that was said earlier, and I want to uh, kind of piggyback on it and, and take it to another level, is that, when you pray, you know, you, 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 you pray naturally, normally, you know, uh, we think that in this realm. But there are some prayer that need to be prayed above and beyond your everyday prayer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I use this analogy as if you want to go somewhere as, you know, you take a flight to, to, to Jamaica. We live here, so we go to Jamaica. Um, coming up in May, we're going to Montreal. You take a flight, you go there. And the, the, that aircraft, it only can go but so far. But if you want to go out of space, oh, my God, you got to go to NASA. My God Almighty, it's a different shuttle taking you out of, out of this realm, out of this this hemisphere, this, mm -hmm. this stratosphere, whatever the, the different fears are into a different realm and you have to when, when you look at and see all those space shuttle when they're taking off my god with fire with 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 smoke with everything that's going up what am i saying i'm saying that we cannot just pray the west jet priors the air canada priors we, we if you want if you want if you want to penetrate through some stuff you yes. gotta above and beyond you need oh, your no. jet prayer my God Almighty, that's going to pierce through some stuff and it doesn't matter. And when it anchors and when it gets to that place, your prayer now starts to float around, my God Almighty, into that heavenly realms and it, it's doing things. And when it starts to descend back down to earth, God Almighty, at top, I'm telling you, it, 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 my God Almighty, I want to let you know this morning that you are not ordinary, but because because we're not exposed to these things at time, we think that we are ordinary. But I want to let you know, you are extraordinary because it's not you that prayed, but it's the Christ that is within you that's now giving you that outer body experience that you can project your prayer and you can access some things, my God Almighty, and where 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 where, where your, your 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 senses are just eliminated from who you are, and you're now in the spirit praying to God, and God is talking to you on a different level, and you're communicating God in a different realm. So Paul put it like this: walk in the spirit, pray in the spirit, that you may not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When you're in the flesh, you're on a west jet flight, but when you when you go beyond and beyond. You're now at NASA, my God Almighty, going to take off into a different atmosphere, different realm, different outer sphere, outer, oh, 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 out of um, this atmosphere experience. 
Yes. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Clive. God bless you. We have about three minutes before we wrap the show. We're going to do a quick uh, final word. And let us start with Elder Muir, the host for Hire in Prior on a Monday night as we talk about going beyond the realm. Uh, talk to us, Rev, uh, about this. Talk to us, Rev, about this. Thank you. Thank you. There's a passage in Matthew 6, I believe it says, um, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And uh, when we think about this, in order for the, the will of God to be done on earth, we have to engage in prayer. And many times we fail because we don't engage. You, you know what? I believe that the system of this world has caused us to disengage. Our bodies become tired. Our minds become bombarded with all different types of issues so we fail to pray. But if we truly pray and we want to go to that next level, as Pastor Clive has said from the West Jet to, to, to Nassau, uh, we have to go into that outer body experience with Christ and it comes to prayer. God bless you mm -hmm. all in Jesus' name. And please, please understand that this Nassau is not Nassau Bahamas. It's NASA's in outer space, a different level. So we just want you to know we're not talking about the Bahamas. That's right, Bishop, that's right. come on in. <laughs> come on in, Bishop. Give us your final word. <laughs> God, God bless you, sir. Amen. That that's so powerful. We could have, we could have end right there. Yes. Um, um, <laughs> you know, the problem is, is that a lot of people have got wake up bad. They don't know how to wake up. They wake up <laughs> tired, they wake up with no energy, they wake up feeling like the world is on their shoulder and so on. you need to go back to sleep and learn how to wake up in the holy ghost my god, amen. My Hallelujah god. To god amen when you wake up in the with the holy ghost you wake up with life you wake up feeling strong amen you do you forget amen in other words the holy ghost become your coffee you know some people mm. can't function without their coffee in the morning right mm -hmm. and so therefore amen <laughs> when you wake up like um, um let the lord give you energy amen wake up with energy wake wake up with the spirit to take this day amen wake up with the anointing man hallelujah be to god hallelujah knowing that god have given you this day hallelujah this is the day, the day. yes the lord, lord has given me a god pick me I will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't wake up feeling thank you, thank you, feeling no energy. No, no, no. I will wake up with the power of Almighty oh, God. God bless you yes. today in Jesus' name. This is the day that the Lord has made. Powerful Bishop, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Prior, plug us into the source. And that source is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayers are like gasoline to the fire. Pastor Kenyatta, you have 30 seconds. Wrap up, wrap, uh, give us your final word as we go for the wrap. And we thank you for staying with us. Prayer is primary, not secondary. When we make prayer our first agenda, then heaven's door will always be open unto us. Persons who don't have a prior life don't know who God is and God don't know them. My when God. we begin to pray, that's 30 seconds and I'm done. When we truly pray, prayer will shift us to shift ourselves. Amen. Prayer will shift us My to God. shift ourselves and shift everything else around us. But because we don't pray, we can't shift nothing. And we always go back to God and say, God, I want this, I want this, I want this. No, it's in you to create it for yourself. God bless. Thank you, Pastor Kenyatta. He said, prayer will shift us to shift ourselves. Pastor Clive said that we should move from the West Jet prayer and move into the other stratosphere and start to go higher in prayer. Of course, pa uh, Elder Muir tell us about going higher in prayer. Bishop said to us that we need to learn how to wake up. We don't know how to wake up. We get up and we're still tired. We're not ready to pray. So we need to go back to sleep and wake up again and wake up with that power. Wake up commanding our day. Wake up knowing 
knowing that we have power for you have received power after which the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Here it is another exciting and powerful episode here on the Ironman Empowerment Podcast. We just want to remind you as we wrap this second series that we are coming back next week. Pastor Kenyatta will be here again along with our worthy co-host and we'll be talking again on this prior watch. We are shifting gears next week and we are going in it as we make a wrap for the entire, entire prior wrap. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another thought-provoking episode on the Ironman Empowerment Podcast podcast on behalf of the entire production crew we invite you to join us next week for an, another discussion as we continue to explore the power of prayer as we de dive deeper into the prior watches thank you so much for all our listeners near and far from 136 countries that are tuning in week after week we say to you god bless you and thank you for making it the iron man empowerment podcast where we are not just talk but we are informative. Until next week, we love you for listening. God bless you. Join us for the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast, where we discuss matters close to the heart. This and every Saturday at 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan. Alongside your co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, Bishop Hopeton Morris, and Elder Edmund Muir. The Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. We're not just talk, we're informative. The mother of Jesus was there. And she received the fire. Matthew and James were there. And they received the fire. And if you have faith right now, you get this fire. I just want to thank you for joining us on this morning. Right here on AGG Radio. Where we reach you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Stick and stay with us here on today. Please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell. A friend. And it's burning, burning in my house. Are you ready to amplify your message and reach hearts with purpose? Introducing HGG Advertising, your partner in spreading the gospel and connecting with the Christian community. Churches, Christian-based businesses, listen up. With HGG Advertising, you can reach your audience through powerful radio campaigns. Engage hearts, inspire minds, and grow your community with HGG Radio, which is already reaching 136 countries worldwide. We specialize in promoting Christian values and helping businesses aligned with faith-based principles. Whether it's a church event or your business rooted in Christian values, HGG Advertising is here for you. Connect with us and let's share your message with purpose. HGG Advertising, spreading the gospel, connecting communities. Email us today at ads at hggradio.ca that's ads at hggradio.ca or call us today at 825-343-4486 hgg radio all in one dollar store all in one get your groceries over-the-counter drugs home decor bathroom laundry and kitchen accessories comforters blankets beauty stationery, events and birthday supplies children toys kids clothes sneakers sandals hats track suits winter spring jackets and so much more visit them today 8904 street 118 avenue edmonton alberta open every day call 587-977 2343 email waka1041 at gmail.com all in one dollar store hgg radio off the pentecostal fire 120 were there praying in the upper room there was a sound from heaven and the holy ghost filled the room HGG HGG Radio. It burns like liquid fire. The Holy Ghost in my house. I feel like Jeremiah. The Holy Ghost in my house.
in my hand. My soul is caught on fire, and it's burning, burning in my house. Peter and John were there, and they would see the fire. Oh my God. The mother. This is where I pull things down on Facebook, on YouTube. You receive the fire. You can stick and stay with us on this morning. <laughs> so you got to run over to the app, eh? And you can look for us on now. the Google Play Store, the Apple Play Store. <laughs> Download that app, eh? My house, it burns like liquid. The Lord bless you on this morning as I pull things down on Facebook. I feel like Jeremiah. The Holy Ghost in my house.